Nice, spacious conference room here where I'm sure people can sit down and sign all those papers to get their new beautiful home. Well, we've done a lot of that this year. It's been a, a very strong and steady year in real estate. That's great. And you're coming into a lull time. We were just talking before going on the air. The holidays are not the time people buy or sell homes. Typically not. Uh, you'd be surprised, though. Um, uh, there's always a need to, to buy and sell homes, and it, it continues on. But, yes, thankfully it's a little bit slower over the, the holiday season and gives us a chance to relax a little bit. Have a good inventory here in the Northfield area? You know, our inventory is still down. Um, we, as well as the rest of the state and likely across most of the nation, are experiencing a low inventory kind of situation. And um, it is something that is a concern for us moving forward, but uh, nonetheless, we are still moving homes. Yeah, Lisa Peterson, who's the tourism director here in Northfield, is with us today. Winter walk and all sorts of holiday events are coming up, right, Lisa? That is correct. Winter walk is December 8th, and we are more than excited about that this year. Hopefully, um, our elves have been out praying for snow, so hopefully this year we have snow instead of rain. Yeah. Well, winter walk, you kind of want to have a little snow there, I would think. Yeah, that would be nice. It's called winter walk, so it'd be nice if it felt a little bit like if you winter. Could walk through winter, yeah. Yeah, would <laughs> one would a, think that would be great. Yeah, that would be <laughs> awesome. Todd Bornhauser also is with us from the Northfield Chamber, and of course, we talked with some folks from your cohorts down at the Faribault Chamber a couple of weeks ago about Small Business Saturday. Small Business Saturday coming up uh, November twenty sixth after Black Friday, so. Um, you know, you might as well just not go to Black Friday anymore. Uh, come downtown, spend your money local, spend those dollars local. Those dollars go right back into your community. They help pay for property tax. They help uh, employ people. And, and, and also those are the dollars that get used for sponsorship and everything else that uh, – all local businesses get up hit for all the time. So yeah, you youth know, league uniforms, all that stuff. Everything that's there. So you know you can get it a dollar cheaper through Amazon, but quite frankly, you're gonna whatever you spend extra, that's gonna come back and then some back into the local community. So we really stress coming down and shopping local on on Saturday. Yeah. Do you have any special events going on Saturday for that? Or we have uh, what we call our shopping passport. This is the second year that we've done that. So we've got 17 businesses on here that uh, you can get stamps on when you uh, stop into those individual stores. And then uh, we'll be giving away $250, $300, $425 in chamber bucks to three lucky individuals, depending on how many stamps they actually get on their card. So, uh, you know, you get rewarded and can possibly win some uh, some nice dollars to go back and spend even more dollars back. And I would guess virtually every business in Northfield accepts those chamber bucks. We would like to think so. We have a chamber members are the ones that accept chamber bucks. And so I can go online or you can stop in our office as well to get a listing of those members that participate in our chamber buck program. Hey, That'd be a great Christmas gift, chamber bucks, to somebody in your room. Ab- absolutely. You can stop in our office any day, any time, Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30, or you can call the office and uh, we can make other arrangements if necessary. But, yeah, you can pick those up. They're in dom- denominations of 5 10 and $25, and uh, they're great gifts to give away. Uh, people can use those throughout the Northfield area community. The sky's the limit. The sky is the limit. Hundred yes. bucks, five hundred bucks, thousand bucks, whatever you want in chamber bucks, you'll sell, right? Uh, absolutely. I'll we'll get it taken care of if you need it to All be. Right. So just give us a call and let us know. A big thank you to Pete Merkins here in uh, Northfield, Professional Pride Realty. Pete Merkins, Todd Bornhauser, Lisa Peterson are with us. We're sitting at a conference table here just off Highway Three in Northfield as. Of course, the holidays are upon us. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and I know, Todd, you have a lot of things to be thankful for here in Northfield, right? I do, except the oven doesn't work at home, so it'll be going to be a tough Thanksgiving Day dinner. Seriously? Yeah, but that didn't stop the in-laws from still not coming down, so we tried. (laughs) Okay. The in-laws didn't invite you up there, though. No, that did not happen either, so... Well, that's too bad. 
But we'll get her fixed at some point in time. So not before tomorrow. I don't not think. before tomorrow. But by the time they come back at Christmas, we'll have an oven that's working again. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. There are lots of places to get that oven here in Northfield, right? Quality Appliance is one of our members, and they have been for a long period of time. So if you want some great service or want a great uh, piece of equipment, yeah, go down, stop, and see them. How many members do you have on the chamber? We have approximately 260 members here in the Northfield area chamber, and they stretch all the way from down in Faribault all the way up to uh, Lakeville. So we, we encompass an area. Um, just not uh, the city of Northfield. And you have to do that, right, to survive. Absolutely. And, you know, there's. we always talk about three reasons that you join the chamber. Either your business is located here, uh, number one, or number two, your business is located someplace else, but your market is here. You're doing business in this community, and you want to have that connection. And the third, every now and then we'll get someone who uh, may work someplace else, but they live here in Northfield, and they want to just be connected with the business community. If they find the chamber is that valuable and important and want to be plugged in as to what's going on in the business community. And speaking of being plugged in, Pete, I know you like being plugged into a lot of different community efforts, including sponsoring the show. We appreciate that at KDHL. Well, thank you. It's it's our pleasure. And, yeah, it is a, a wonderful opportunity, especially in a town like Northfield, to uh, participate in a lot of the events, particularly the events that the Chamber puts on. So we uh, we have a lot of opportunity to put ourselves out there, and it's, it's, a, it's a nice chance to get out and, and be with the public. And obviously you're a big believer in the Chamber. You wouldn't be a member. We are. We're a tremendous uh, believer in it, and we appreciate everything they do, and it's uh, it's been great for... Our business, uh, our business is going to be six years old in, in May, and to have uh, had the opportunity to uh, build a business in Northfield, I couldn't have done it without the chamber. <laughs> at least, at least uh, uh, Todd just handed a twenty. I have to explain why we're all laughing. Todd just handed a twenty dollar bill to Pete. I, I wish I could take that twenty, but but gosh, it's it's nice. <laughs> very very nice of them. <laughs> Anyway, Lisa, when people think of tourism, they usually probably don't think of the winter time. You know what I'm saying in Minnesota, but hey. Well, we have a lot of winter, so um, <laughs> you should think of you should think of Northfield in the winter. We have lots of stuff going on um, during all seasons, including winter. Um, there's lots of sledding, and um, there are snowshoeing tours that happen in the Carlton Arb. Every Saturday, um, once the snow flies, um, there's just there's a lot of um, fat bike um, trails to ride. Lots of good stuff to do. A lot of people do the fat biking in the winter, huh? They do. Yep. I was looking at one the other day, thinking about getting a fat bike. <laughs> Figure a fat guy how to ride a fat bike. Don't you think? <laughs> Does that makes sense, Lisa. That that makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> Anyway, should we tackle Winter Walk before we talk about things going on this weekend, or what do you think? That's just fine. Um, Winter Walk, December 8th, again, from 5 to 9, downtown Northfield. It's going to be a great night. We're going to have snow. We're not going to have rain. I know it. Um, There are many, many things to do. I'll just say a couple of the things because there's too many to mention. Uh, We have horse-drawn carriage rides. We have three horses at horse and wagons this year so that's up from two last year and the years before um the historical society has pictures with the james younger gang those are free so that's pretty fun um the northfield arts guild will be performing the nag cracker at 6 30 they also have um the a plus holiday mart um, in their um, facility as well as um Another gallery show, but um, you can you can purchase uh, really really nice gifts there as well. Um, Main Street Moravian Church is having a chili feed and a live nativity at three different times that night. The Girl Scouts will be um, selling hot chocolate, hot cider, and cookies. And make sure you if you're gonna um, get the hot cider and hot cookies or hot cookies, hot cocoa, excuse me, um, you go early because they sell out pretty fast. Um, they, their, their stuff is um, very delicious, so they, they go through it quite quickly. Um, the Cocoa Bean 
uh, which used to be on Division Street, is having a pop-up store now at By All Means Graphics, so that's exciting. Um, lots of different complimentary gift wrapping stations around town. Um, and then just lots of different discounts that you can get at all of the stores. And everybody usually has um, treats and maybe some entertainment or, or whatever. So it's really fun. So it's the perfect time to do your holiday shopping. It, it really is. Or to, or to kind of go around and look at things and, and decide, yep, that's what I'm going to go get. And then come back on Saturday. Or, well, you can't come back on Saturday. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the winter walk, December 8th. She admitted it anyway, right, Todd? Yes, she did, and that's a first. We need to keep a record of that. So, <laughs> Again, this Saturday is Small Business Saturday, and you're inviting people to take part in that shopping passport. Absolutely, and they can stop at one of the 17 locations to pick that up. They can also go on the Chamber website and uh, print that out as well so and get more information. A couple things we wanted to talk about, though, was... Um, that we actually uh, have confirmed that there will be a movie star on Saturday walking the streets of uh, Northfield for Small Business Saturday. Are you going to tell us about this? or It looks like a reindeer that's walking around, so he will be making a physical pre- presence throughout the day that you can go up and get his signature, take a picture with an actual movie star. And then we'll also have... Santa will be in Bridge Square as well from 10.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., both on the 25th and the 26th. And our one of our newest members, Angela Elizabeth Portraits, will be taking pictures that you can purchase. So if you want a really nice picture of Santa and the outdoor Santa huts downtown Northfield, you can take advantage of that as well. That's right on Bridge Square. Right on Bridge Square, yes. So very festive area. In very Northfield. festive area. It's it's looked very well. Uh, is you know is a very famous spot now because uh, you know home of uh, some great movie has been filmed, utilizing Bridge Square. So we're very very fortunate here. Yeah, that Hallmark movie. In fact, it was a year ago. It was shot right. Yes, yes. And so if I was really creative, I would tell I would lie and tell a fib that there's another movie that's going to be filmed this year at Winter Walk, but. I, I can't do that. You so. never know. But you never know. You never know. So you might want to come down just in that happenstance chance that somebody else is out there filming this year. You know John Fossum? Yes. Rice County Attorney. Yes. He was telling me the other day that he's in that movie. In one of the scenes, he's in the background. He's kind of blurred out. I asked him if he got paid to be an extra. He said, he of course laughed and said, no, no, uh, we didn't get paid. Well, you know, uh, that's the difference between a real person and an animal, because the animal in the in the movie is not blurred out. You can see him pretty well walking, <laughs> waving to the crowd. So, you know, let's. And I I don't know John personally. I know John. I know John, but right. I I've, I've never dealt with John on a legal issue. But he was in the movie. He was in the movie. There were quite a few people in the movie, and that's the that's the beauty of it. I think when you go through and you look at the credits, you look at the number of stores that were involved, the number of individuals that were here in Northfield that were involved in that film. Uh, and that was probably the most enjoyable thing as we were watching it at the preview at the Northfield Middle School um, on November 6th was every time someone would see somebody, they'd cheer and yell and clap. So it was a really... Hey, there's uh, Hank. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it was really quite an experience that night to to watch that movie, not in front of, you know, a couple of people around your television, but actually to see it on, on the big screen. And, Did you have and a good crowd? crowd. We had uh, 750 people attend that event and then we were very fortunate to have a couple of the actor and actresses come down as well that evening so it was it was a kind of a really magical moment and uh, a real highlight we had to turn some people away um uh, a lot less than what we anticipated so um but uh, i'm being it's a good thing this is not being taped to, uh you know live yeah we were thinking about we, doing that yeah because so we'd, be, we we'd be really have to be on our a game and we're not there so far <laughs> oh and also i'm sorry we also raised 
uh, $540 and 426 pounds for the local food shelf. Cool. So that was really nice to see people not only come for that, but also bring some food and some money to, to help, uh, help be involved with that. And, uh, we were very fortunate to partner with our local EDA, the Northfield EDA, that helped also, uh, contribute some of the costs that was associated with that. Did this film contact you at the chamber before they came? to film winter walk and ask you where would be good spots to film or did they talk to lisa or did they do some of that they yeah they talked to both of us um todd and i attended a conference a year ago in september down in worthington where we met one of the um people who works for minnesota film and tv and he gave a really nice uh, talk about how you can get your community involved in in film and tv in the state and so we listened to his speech and gave him our cards and didn't really think anything of it. And about a month and a half later, he gave us a call and said, hey, we think Northfield would be the perfect location for this film. So he came down and did some scouting, and then the ball just started rolling from there. And one of the reasons it's a perfect location is your proximity to the cities? Yep. We, um, since we are so close to the cities, but we're just over this, the, this line where, um, they can receive extra rebates, um, when they film down here. So we're close enough to the cities where they can pull crew from the cities, right. um, but far enough away where they get that extra, that extra bang for their buck. So, so it's a good you see, location. Yeah. You see more of these in the future, I'm guessing. We have one that was either wrapping up shortly or filming right now um, right in the area. So they did some filming, I think it was last week, downtown. Um, we have another. It's a it's a dark version of Mary Poppins. It's going to be on the Sci-Fi Channel, and it's called The Nanny. I'm not sure when it will air or anything um, How can like you that. do a dark, dark version of Mary Poppins? It's possible. Anything is possible. It's no, it's uh, Hollywood. <laughs> I guess I guess you can do anything in Hollywood. Anything else on your plate, Lisa? You want to share with our listeners? I I think that's about all I have. December eighth. December eighth. Yep. That's a one day event. One. It's a one night only. Five to nine downtown Northfield. It's beautiful. Come down. Get in the Christmas spirit. It's fun. All lit up with Christmas decks. It's beautiful, and we have luminaries everywhere. It's it's gorgeous. It's really, really fun. All right. So, again, mark that down on your calendars, folks. Well, Pete, what's happening in the real estate world these days? Well, it's um, it, it's been okay. It's been a good year. Um, we're still selling houses, hoping that uh, the new year brings another strong year upon us with uh, interest rates uh, certainly going to be on the rise this next year is what it sounds like. Um, and with, of course, the passing of the election now, we'll see if uh, how people react to the market. So, well, come on, you got a real estate mogul who's your president. How can that hurt the real estate market? Well, we're hoping it's, it's going to be another strong year uh, as a result of that. So we'll, we'll see what happens. You're not making any predictions. I can I'm not going to go out on a limb and predict much uh, beyond that. Uh, it's... Uh, after the mortgage meltdown, uh, you know, uh, eight ten years ago, it's it's uh, it's one of those things that you need to move when it's time to move, uh, not not trying to play the market. I think a lot of people feel like, well, I'll wait till next spring before I sell my house, or I'll I'll uh, do it next fall before uh, next winter rolls in and hope to get a good buy. And the best thing to do is move for the right reasons. It is the biggest investment you'll make. It is. It is indeed. And people move a lot more than they used to. They do. Um, we are uh, right now looking at the lowest uh, uh, home ownership percentage that our country has seen in, in, in 40 years. So uh, we're hoping that people will get back into uh, owning homes again. It's, it is a very good uh, thing to do. It's a good investment and uh, uh, something that uh, can help you uh get to the next level so to speak well, didn't i read where where they call these the millennials now are not looking to own homes they want to live in apartments and live in big cities and yep and we're seeing that trend uh, we're definitely seeing people spending less money um looking to downsize on all levels so um there, there's a lot of great real estate out there to be purchased right now how about building 
Uh, building is is very strong. The 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 cities have seen some exceptional uh, building numbers. Uh, not so much here in Northfield. We uh, we certainly have had um, a, a better year in new construction. I know our our building permits are up over the uh, prior years, but we're still lacking some inventory for land right now. Uh, there just is not a high demand for it, but it does exist here. Yeah. Well. The benefit of building, I would assume, is you get the house you want. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I will say this. Uh, the inventory that's out there for the existing market, you can get a lot of bang for your buck, and that's what's complicating new construction right now is it's pretty expensive with the uh, recent building codes that were um, put into place a, a year ago now really had an effect um, on uh, the cost of new construction, as well as the the lack of um, contractors out there, when well, the mor- uh, market melted down a few years ago, and, and uh, new construction took a nosedive, it caused a lot of people to get out of um, that that particular career and look for something more stable. So, I will say, several years ago, I put an addition on my house. I did consider selling the house and moving somewhere else, and bottom line is, I obviously didn't do that. I put the addition on my house even though it was a little more expensive per square foot. Yep. But the house was almost paid for, so it kind of made sense. Sure. Yeah, you know, people uh, frequently will ask, well, gosh, should we finish our basement? Should we put that four-season porch on? What should we do? How does it affect uh, the value of my house? The reality is if you're intending to be there for a period of time, build it because you want it, not because of what you may or may not get out of it at the end it's it's certainly something to consider but uh, in this day and age uh not knowing where market values go you know build it because you want it um, and hope that in the end that your timing of selling uh, will result in in uh, maybe a profit at some point yeah i did re- recently too that landscaping is a bigger deal than you might think when you're looking at selling your home yeah without a doubt it's actually a uh, uh, curb appeal is is the one of the most important things that people overlook. Um, keeping a, a nice yard and tidy landscaping has a real direct benefit to the value of your house. That first impression is a big one. Well, Todd, I'm going to let you go over that shopping passport event coming up on Saturday again. Remember to shop small Saturday this Saturday here in Northfield. Absolutely. Uh, November 26th. So, uh Get out uh, early or don't uh, t- just rest on Black Friday and then come down to Northfield on uh, Small Business Saturday. And uh, we've got 17 businesses that are participating in our passport program this year. And uh, the opportunity to win uh, either 250 125 or $50 in chamber bucks. So three lucky people will win depending on the number of of um, stamps that they get uh, and how many of these 17 businesses they visit. It's so. kind of peering over the shoulder, so to speak. And I see, are most of these businesses downtown? Most of these businesses are downtown, but not all of them are. We've got uh, Cannon Valley Veterinary, which is out on Highway 3. Um, and Beerman Home, Home Furnishing, of course, is downtown. Gooders Do- Dough to Go and More is is actually in Dundas. So you know we've got uh, we've got them kind of scattered throughout. Quality Appliance is also on there as well as out as Highway Three. Uh, but then businesses like Mainstream Boutique, Vision, Northfield Yarn, Northfield Arts Guild, the Rare Pair, the Goat, the Secret Addict. Forget Me Not Florist, our favorite friend John Thomas at Mr. JST Technology Consulting, uh, Spare Room, A Bag Lady, Wireless World, Paper Pedalum. So quite a different, uh, a whole wide range of uh, businesses and a few services there uh, that you can stop in, say hello, and uh, be able to pick up some good Christmas or holiday presents. Yeah, many businesses. This is their make or break time of year, right? This this really is the, this this month. Uh, this uh, you know this next four to five weeks is is critical to their to their success. And Black Friday was always named as that was the that was the day that uh, you know for the retail community that they actually got into the black. So um, you know, so it is it is important. Uh, there's a lot of options out there available, but by shopping local, those dollars stay local, and that's what's invested back into your local community. So we can't say enough that, uh, yeah, you might get it a dollar cheaper going online, 
Um, but that really isn't going to help your community at the end. So, Yeah. And a dollar turns over, what, seven times, something like that? Yep. The very good statistic to, to utilize as well, yeah. In your town? As yep. opposed to if you, you know, go up to the cities or something, that dollar leaves this town. Right. Go online, the dollar never turns back over, so. Not even once. <laughs> I'm sure it turns over once, but not a whole lot of times. So, you know, quite frankly, if the, the biggest bang for your buck is being able to shop local. Yeah. Can't hammer that home enough. I we? cannot hammer that home enough. No. So get on over to Northfields for Small Business Saturday. Anything else going on before the holidays? Uh, the winter walk. We've got a winter walk, and then uh, we've got a lot of things on our plate in the in the in uh, on the chamber side, but uh, uh, we'll just stick with these two right now. Okay. So. So, again, folks, the dates to remember are this Saturday, the 26th, and December the 8th. Just two dates to remember, and you'll do all your holiday shopping right here in Northfield. Thanks again to Pete for having us here in this beautiful conference room. Well, thank you again, Gordy. I appreciate every opportunity I get. Uh, So it's uh, exciting to have a little Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. And... uh, We'll, we have lots to give thanks for. Yeah, we certainly do. You're going to have some turkey? Oh, I plan on having a lot of turkey. Okay. How about you, Lisa? Is turkey on the menu? Turkey is definitely on the menu. Yeah. I'll be headed to Wisconsin oh, cool. to uh, celebrate with my family. Over the river and through the woods. To, to, to my grandfather's house, yes, actually. Oh, oh, just like the poem. <laughs> yeah. And how about you, Todd? You talked about the oven being out, so you're going over to Pete's for that? Uh, yeah, either some are going to Pete's or the in-laws. They can head out to the Wisconsin and see Lisa. I so. <laughs> hope the in-laws aren't listening. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. <laughs> That concludes today's edition of A of Minnesota. See what we got to put up with. Fun people in Northfield.